OK, so today we're going to look at how you can update your Windows 10 and Windows 11 apps. Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say today, we're going to look at how you can update your Windows 10 and 11 apps. These are apps that you've either downloaded from the store or they've come pre-downloaded with your PC. Now, this is extremely simple. All you do, click on the start button and just type store, S-T-O-R-E. And then hopefully after a few seconds under best match, you should see Microsoft Store System. Move your mouse over that left click once the store will then load and then all you got to do is just click on library just down there in the bottom left hand corner that's a left click and here it will show you all of the apps that require an update now you've got a couple of options here you can update the apps individually so say for instance i wanted to just update the spotify app move your mouse over update that's just to the right of it left click once and there you go it's now moved to the top of the list and it's now downloading and installing the update the other option is you can go to update all and left click once on that and that will update all of the apps that have updates available so move your mouse over that left click and there you go as you can see it's now downloading and going to install the updates for all of these three remaining apps. Now you might be thinking that surely these should update automatically. Well, they do, but sometimes they don't do it right away. So if you're in a rush for the latest version of an app, then you can follow this guide. Now I should say you might find some of the apps might hang for a bit when they're updating. Don't worry, this is perfectly normal. Just walk away from your PC for a bit and hopefully they'll be installed when you come back to them. Now, sometimes you might find that some updates get stuck. If they do, then the best thing to do is just to close down the Microsoft Store, click on the Start button, click on the Power logo, and then click on Restart. Let your computer restart. And it's very important that you do hit Restart and not shut down as restarting your computer does restart things like services and drivers and other parts too of the system. So it really gives it a clean startup. Once your computer's restarted, then once again, click on the start button and type store. And then under best match, you should see Microsoft Store. Left click once on that, the store will load. Go back to library, which is in the bottom left hand corner and just check to see if there are still any updates available. If there are, then click on update. If there are no updates available and you're specifically looking for an update, then you can click get updates and that will just check to see whether there have been any updates been made available since the last time the computer check. It almost, it, it forces a check straight away. And as you can see, three more updates have come up on mine and they have already started downloading and once they've downloaded they'll automatically install a bit like the local experience pack and microsoft photos and the sticky edge as you can see they're disappearing before my eyes some of the updates might be larger than others so therefore might take longer the microsoft photos update is quite a large one so as you can see it's taking its time to download and if it takes its time to download it's probably going to take its time to install too. So there we are. It's finished downloading and it says almost done. And there you go. Once it disappears, then that means the update has done or it's, it's disappeared from that list up there and it's gone to the list below. I hope you like this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes, and VPNs. Buying, subscribing, and donating really does help 
help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.